right, so we're headed over to Damon. They're an electric motorcycle company. They look pretty amazing, so let's go check it out. Damon revealed their first bike at CES in 2020. Now they're unveiling their second bike, the Hyperfighter. The Hyperfighter has a 20 kilowatt hour battery providing an estimated 146 miles of range, a top speed of 170 miles per hour, and it goes zero to 60 in three seconds flat. Well guys, we just saw the unveiling of the new Hyperfighter right behind me. But we've got a special treat for you because I have one of the co-founders here. So come on over. I'm Dominic Huang. I'm one of the co-founders and COO for Damon Motors. We're here today to, to show off the uh, the Hyperfighter. Can you talk us through a little bit about the power aspect and also the battery technology in this? Absolutely. So when we started Damon, the first thing that we thought about was safety, right? And so the foundation of that safety was basically creating an electric drivetrain that was intrinsically safe or propagation resistant. So inside this hyperdrive battery pack, which is also the frame of the motorcycle. Oh, okay. And, and so it's structurally... Structurally, it's part of the motorcycle. The reason why we had to go through this level of integration is because, frankly, in order to get this level of performance, 200 horsepower, 200 miles of range on a single charge, 200 miles per hour, top speed, we couldn't just take off the shelf components and just jam it into a traditional trellis frame. We had to kind of completely redesign the bike and go, okay, number one goal is jam as many of these 21700 uh, lithium ion cells. And how do we do that? Well, we got to make the battery an integral part of the motorcycle. And so that's what we've done. And so as we come around to the bike, this is the hyperdrive. Nestled inside this C-shaped battery pack is the motor unit. The battery pack and the motor unit are both liquid cooled and oil cooled. So there's actually a system that runs liquid not only through the battery pack, but also the power electronics is that's mounted on the front of the pack and also going through the motor itself. The motor also has oil cooling for the gear reduction. One of the really cool innovations that the team back in Vancouver has, has uh, perfected here is the idea of making the battery pack propagation resistant. My CTO, Derek Dorstein, he has made it his like mission to make sure that if we have a fault in any one part of the of, of, of the pack, that if a cell were to, for example, ignite, it wouldn't just propagate all the way through the pack. So we have a patented series of um, countermeasures to deal with isolating the, the fault and not to affect the rest of the pack. On top of that, this motor is a six-phase motor. So in traditional EVs, they're three-phase. And so you can consider the six phases as almost like three, two, three-phase motors in parallel, if you will. And the reason why we're doing that is to make the motorcycle fail operational. Instead of fail safe, fail operational means that in the event that one of those like three phases was to, was to fall off, you still have the other three phases, so at least you have power to at least drive off the road in a safe manner rather than having the, the motor completely cut off. And because you can understand that could be a very compromised position to be in, right? So, so that is the, the fundamental core of every single Damon motorcycle. So between the Hyper Fighter and the Hyper Sport, it always starts with the hyper drive. And I noticed you have a pretty beefy Olin suspension on the rear there. What a great choice. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? Olin's is the world leader in suspension. We could not consider our motorcycle a premium motorcycle without Olin suspension. That goes without saying. And nice strong Brembo brakes on the front. We also have uh, Thyssen Group uh, Action Composite uh, carbon wheel. A lot of these suppliers come to us because they, uh, they look at Damon as the premier brand in the electric motorcycle space. So we're, we're super happy to have their support. Now let's talk a little bit more about the technology in this bike because you guys have some amazing 360 degree awareness. You have some advanced safety technology that also integrates with AI, is that correct? Absolutely. So 
on every single Damon motorcycle also includes a system called Co-Pilot. It is a 360 degree accident warning system for motorcycles. What it consists of is both front and rear cameras and radar. Things that you would find on a Toyota Camry or even on a Tesla. Yeah. We've taken those devices, we've added our software, and have, we've adapted what is essentially automotive devices, technology, yeah. technology <laughs> to make it work with a motorcycle. I mean, you could appreciate that aside from missing two wheels, the, the difference between a, a motorcycle and a car is the way that this thing moves. It, it, it leans, it pitches, right? And so when you have sensors that are just used to being like level with the ground and also you start to move the ground around, you have to compensate for that. And so the team back at home has spent countless thousands of hours working on the algorithms to deal with that level of compensation to see that, okay, you know, as the radar, as is looking for the at, at the road ahead, and then the rider starts to lean into a corner, hey, it's going to intersect the ground. How do we deal with that interference? Well, we know how much and where it's going to interfere so then we can pay attention to, to look at the road that is important versus the road that's not. And it can detect up to 64 different items at that's one correct. time, right? So it's, this it's can tracking. see a lot. <laughs> absolutely, it's tracking for, it, you're absolutely right. It's tracking 64 objects at a time. It's not only looking at the position, but the trajectory. When are they going to become a threat? And so when it becomes a threat, the system, how it alerts the rider is through two different mechanisms. The first one is a visual mechanism. You'll see in your in your display, it will show you a series of lights and position if they're say for something in your blind spot. Or in the event that there's a forward collision warning, the second alert system kicks in, which is haptic feedback. So the handlebars will vibrate, letting you know that there's a forward collision event happening. So that what that means is that, hey, immediate action is required. So you have to evade. So whether it's brake, steer, both, or even accelerate to get out of the jam, this bike will tell you. So it's amazing. It's like, it allows you to keep your attention squarely at the road ahead, but gives you a complete sensory awareness of all your surroundings without putting your head on a swivel. You know, there's a, in motorcycling, there's an old cliche. They say it's, it's not if, but when, which means that an accident is inevitable. Damon has turned that statement completely on its ear. We say the more you ride, the safer you become. And that's because of that neural network and also the connectivity options that we have on the motorcycle. We have every wireless standard you can imagine on this bike. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular communications. And the reason why we're doing that is so that we can extract information so that we can analyze what's happening with the bike with for different types of riders so that we can not only make the safety system smarter but we're making you smarter as well as far as like letting you know how your bike is behaving how you're behaving what are the different traffic and, and, and road um, uh, the, the dangers that are ahead of you so it's it's an ecosystem honestly like when you buy a Damon motorcycle you're joining the club and then and when you join the club the club is going to be looking out for you so that's one thing uh, yeah. so another thing that I want wanted to ask you about is that this has a uh, shift button on it. So yes. you can actually change your position. Can you explain that a little bit more to us? Absolutely. So shift, <coughs> shift was a system developed to give the riders basically two bikes in one. So at a push of a button, the handlebars and the foot peg will change their position. The handlebars will lift, the foot pegs will drop, so that you can go from this aggressive sport position, which is great for canyon carving, great for you know a, a, riding a, a spirit, really. And then when you're like in the city, it's going to give you a bit more relaxed ride. You know? So it kind of positions it so you're a little bit more upright, you're a little That's bit more correct. comfortable. That's correct. So basically, it opens up your sight line. It gives you a much more relaxed position so you know your neck and your lower back and your wrists are not as, as, as strained. And it just, you know, it allows you to keep riding. 
So, you know, it was done. It was done selfishly. I wanted. I wanted. I wanted a lot of different bikes, but I didn't want to change bikes. I didn't want to buy multiple bikes. So, when we uh, when we came up with this invention, uh, it uh, was really uh, well received. And this bike can take a level one charging, a level two charging, but it also has CCS capability. Can you run down a little bit on the specs in particular of the Hyperfighter? Yeah. So, the the AC charging mechanism is a six kilowatt charger that's built into the bike. The, the CCS, so basically from a charging uh, time perspective, on CCS, you can go from 20% to 80% in about 30, 35 minutes. And that, that will give you at easily 130, 140 miles of range on every charge. Just uh, one less unknown fact, in a, in a future software release, this bike will also give you vehicle to home applications. So this will be able to power your home for three days. Oh wow, so it has bi-directional charging. That's Absolutely. pretty amazing for a motorcycle. <laughs> Absolutely. So. And what is the main difference between the Hyperfighter that you just unveiled and the Hypersport that you'll be delivering later this year? Well, the differences are actually very small. It's, it's really looking at the, the, the body style, you know, a naked version versus a, 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 a fared version. But both of these bikes and all of Damon motorcycles are all always have three fundamental features with them hyperdrive co-pilot and shift so those are always going to be on a Damon motorcycle regardless of where they are in the world and eventually we'll be able to change packaging so if you want to get into a lower price point you can so can you tell me what is the starting price point and then what is kind of the fully loaded version yeah so on the hypersport line of motorcycles the hypersport premier is Forty thousand dollars US. The HS is twenty-five thousand. The SX is twenty thousand, and the SE is eighteen thousand US. All these bikes are available on Damon.com for pre-order, and they're all—it's a small uh, credit card deposit, and it's refundable anytime. So, really, what it is—it's a way for you to, to hold your place in line. So, I encourage everyone to to, to get their place in line because uh, we're, we're we're selling them and we're selling them fast. And manufacturing-wise, you guys just bought a 110,000-square-foot facility, is that yeah, correct? We, we made a pretty big commitment to, uh, to, to us as a company, to our customers, and, you know, to ensure quality. We're building a factory in our backyard in, home, in Vancouver. So it's a 110,000 square foot facility. It's, it's, it broke ground about a couple of months ago. It's under construction. We expect it to be uh, up and running uh, about uh, the summertime of this year. And uh, it, it has the capability of building 40,000 bikes per year out of that facility. And what it, what it allows us to do is to really control the process, ensure that the quality is top notch. And so as we scale around the world this facility will be the training center for all facilities around the world and so it allows us to honestly to keep our research and development and our manufacturing teams so closely connected because we need that connection in order to make not only great innovation but to have deliver amazing quality products well thank you so much for taking the time today to give us a whole walkthrough of the Damon Piper fighter this is amazing and until next time Drive, fly, ride, go electric.